everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial for the Dark Angels. Yes, all of their characters are getting in on it these days. We have Asmodai, the Master of Repentance. He is here for a brand spanking new paint job with his brand spanking new miniature that Games Workshop have sent me early for that very purpose. So we are going to jump in and we are going to start painting him. He has been primed in Wraithbone. And the colour we're going to be using first is... Seraphim Sepia. I'm going to be applying this over the top of his sort of creamy outer robe. Just like this sort of thing. Now this doesn't include his hood and the bits over his shoulders. This is just his... Kind of the main part, of, well it's the majority of the robe. So with that Seraphim Sepia applied, we're then going to take a roughly three parts Dark Angels Green to one part Lamian Medium Mix. And we're going to apply this over the top of the inner robe and his shoulders and hood. So we just want to get this little bit down here. Like that, and then put the hood and the shoulders as well. So, with that applied and fully dry, what we're then going to do is take some bale tan green and we're going to apply this over the top just to give it a little bit of extra punch a little bit of extra shading. So with that bale tan of green applied and drying, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some black legion and we're going to apply this over top of all of Asmodai's armour. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Garagax sewer and we're going to apply this over the top of all of his leather details. So this is his belt and the holster for the pistol. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Volupus Pink and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the wax seals. So 
Whilst we wait for that Volupus pink to dry, we're gonna take some Saigor brown and we're gonna use this over the top of all of the kind of soft wraps of all of his weapons. That's Igor Brown applied. We then want to take some Null Oil and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the parchment. So with that now done, we're gonna move on to the metallics. And there's a lot of them here. And the first one we're gonna do is some thinned down iron warriors. Now we're gonna be applying this over the top of all of his silver details. And this is gonna include areas such as the belt, buckle, here, like this. It's also going to include the shackles, down here, like that. It's going to include the wings of his pendant and the chain, the iron halo, the blade and things on the axe back here, this chain of beads and the mechanical details of the backpack and anywhere else you want to be silver, of course, including our sword. So with all that Iron Warrior is now applied, we're then gonna take some Lead Belcher and we're gonna apply this over the top of the sword blade. So the Iron Warriors provides a really nice kind of solid base to get a really nice shiny sword. But we're also going to apply this over the ax blade on his belt. Like that. And then down here as well. And now with that done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down retributor armor and we're gonna apply this over the top of all of our remaining metallic details. Starting just there, the pendant. So with that all done, we now need to work on the smoke. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Null Oil. But at the same time as working on the smoke, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually use this to do some shading as well. So we're gonna use this to shade all of the Iron Warriors and all of the Black Legion of the armor. So we're just gonna get this over this like this. We're not gonna use this to shade the sword or the ax blade. There we go. We've done that belt buckle. But what we're also going to do here, as mentioned, is we're gonna apply the null oil over the top of all of the smoke. With all that null oil applied, we're then gonna take null oil once again, and we're gonna apply this over the bottom kind of half of the smoke. We wanna get it down to that kind of color. We wanna take it to around about there. And just bring it up just a little bit on the trail. 
and we'll do this over both. Just whilst we're waiting for that second coat of null oil to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Blood Angels Red I'm going to apply this over these two little cables, which I keep forgetting to do. Like that. With that Blood Angels Red applied, we're then going to take some Caraber Crimson and we're going to use this to shade our Purity Seals, but also the leather wraps of his weapons and his belt and holster. So with that done, we're still waiting for the smoke to dry. So we're going to take some Griff Charger Grey. We're going to use this to shade the sword blade and the axe blade. Second coat of Nuln oil is nearly dry, but not quite. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Reitland Flesh Shade. I'm going to use this to shade all the gold. So with that now done, we're gonna take some Black Templar and we're gonna apply this over the bottom parts of the smoke and we're gonna blend this into the null oil. So what we want to do is we want to apply this all over this bottom area, like so. keep going up to this plume like so and then what we're going to do is we're going to apply this all the way along the kind of bottom half of this plume of smoke wash the brush and then Going to blend the two together. Like that sort of thing. And then similarly on the other one, we're going to apply this Black Templar.
like that. So they're going to bring it up to around about there. Wash the brush. Touch off the water. Same thing across the rest of it. So with all of that now done, Asma die is what I would call a war hipster battle ready, and I think he looks pretty good already, as you can see. But we're not going to leave him there. We're going to take him to the next level. And we're going to do this by adding some highlights, a little bit of blending and I think maybe a layer. <laughs> anyway, the first place we're gonna start is right back at the beginning on the creamy robe, and the color we're gonna be using to highlight this is Wraithbone. And it's gonna just provide a really nice little soft, supple highlight to the tops of the cloth, like that, as you can see. So with that all done, we can now move on to the next color, which is going to be all the green. And the color we're gonna be using to highlight this first is some thinned down warpstone glow. So with that warpstone glow applied, we're then gonna take some thinned down moot green. I'm gonna use this. On the sharpest points. So with all that moot green applied, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Dawnstone. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of our black armor. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thin down administratum grey. I'm going to use this to do two different things. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use this to pick out the sharpest points in all the black armour. So we're just going to do this. And that. And that sort of thing. Just like this. But what we're also going to do with the administratum gray is going to use this to effectively relayer the sort of mid smoke. So with that all done, what we're then going to do is move on, but not really, because we're going to be taking some thinned down white scar. I'm going to be using this to highlight all of the parchment, but we're also going to be using this on the smoke. So we'll just highlight up this little bit of parchment first. Like that. 
But on the smoke, what we want to do is towards the top, we want to do almost a full relayer here. bring it down into the administration grey. I'm going to turn this into more of a kind of spot highlight. Just like that sort of thing. And with that Corax white applied, we then want to take some thinned down Thunderhawk blue. And we want to use this to highlight all of the black smoke. Finally, for all the smoke, what we're going to do is we're going to take a roughly three parts Lamy and medium to one part Griff Charger Grey mix. And we're going to apply this all over the top of the, the black. We're going to apply this over the top of the grey. We're not going to go all the way up into the white. So with that done, the smoke is now all finished. So what we need to do is we need to work on the sword. So we're gonna take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Black Templar and Lamy Medium. And this is my new favorite recipe for doing these things. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that little bit of kind of blending that you see on some of these more modern Dark Angel swords. It's slightly different on the box art. It's got more of a bluish texture to it, but I really like this one, so we're doing this. So we're gonna apply this in this corner of the blade. And then gonna wash the brush, touch off the water, I'm going to blend this out into the rest of the blade, like that. Then we're going to do exactly the same thing, but on the other half of the blade, towards the bottom. I'm going to wash the brush, touch off the water. I'm going to blend it into the rest of the blade like that. And if you want to, you can do this twice to get it really dark. With that Black Templar blending done on the blade, what we're then going to do is take a roughly five parts water to one part lead belcher mix. This is going to give us a really, really thin, lovely little metallic glaze. And we're going to apply this over the top of the other half of the sword. 
and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to apply this like this. Now that sort of thing. Wash the brush. Touch off the water. I'm going to feather away at the transition so it blends into that lovely shine. And so with that now done, the saw is looking absolutely fantastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish off the sword and as a consequence, all the rest of the silver by using some thinned down iron breaker. I'm going to use this to highlight all of it, picking out all the edges of all of the silver. So with that all done, there's actually one non-metallic color that we forgot to do, which is all the purity seals. So we're going to take some thinned down pink horror. I'm going to use this to highlight those. And the other thing we need to do is we need to take a tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet to apply over his eye lenses. So next up, we're going to take some thinned down Liberator Gold. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the gold. And so with that done, to finish off asthma dye, what we're going to do is we're going to take a tiny amount of Saigor Brown. I'm going to use this to add some little text lines on all of his parchment. So with that done, asthma dye is now finished. So what we need to do is quickly work on his base. That's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to take some Targol Raid Shade here, first of all, and we're going to apply this over the top of the rock. With that Targor Raid shade all applied, we then take some Saigor Brown and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the loose soil. With that all done, we're then going to take some Black Legion. I'm going to apply this over the top of the helmet. And with that now done, we're going to take some thinned down Iron Warriors. We're going to apply this over top of all of the metallic details.
And with that Iron Warriors applied, and then we'll take a tiny little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet and we'll apply this over top of the eye lenses on the helmet. With that Evil Sun Scarlet applied, we then want to take some Null Oil and we want to use this to shade all those metallics. With that null oil applied, we're then going to take some Sterling Mud. And we're going to apply this over top of all of the negative space around the base. So with that all done, we're now going to finish things off by taking some Tyrant Skull. I'm going to use this to dry brush all of the base. And so with the base complete, Asmodai, the Master of Repentance, is now finished. Another stunning character for the Dark Angels, to be quite frank. And, well, who's left? Ezekiel and Samael? I think that's it. So maybe we'll see them in the next edition. But for now, we can bask in the glory of Asmodai and the rest of the new Dark Angels and the Inner Circle Companions coming soon. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.